RTS scrapbooking and today oh my what are we gonna do we are going to reduce the spending and if you're new to my channel go back and look at some of my other videos see who I am see what the whole RTS thing is and welcome 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 I know the lighting may be off the framing may be a tad off but that's okay because if you knew how many times I did this video you would literally laugh your pants off but we're just gonna go we're gonna have fun and we're gonna learn something today so today at RTS reduce the spending now if you have been a long time scrapbooker or crafter you know that anything you can buy in bulk will save you money in the long run especially if it is a consumable product that you use over and over and over again why not save some money save some pennies and so for me my husband has bought these Georgia Pacific reams of papers for many years at Sam's Club. And when he first started buying them, they were $4.98. And now, of course, now they're $7.98. But with everything else, things go up in price. But even at $8 for 250 sheets of white card stock, 110 pound weight, mind you, it's still a really good deal. And for me, some of you know that I'm on a year-long spending freeze. Well, this to me is not a scrap expense. This is a household expense because I use it more than just my craft room. You know, we use it in our office for many, many years. We use it in homeschooling. So that's how you get around it. If something is uh, uh, something you can use and say it's a household expense, classify it as a household expense. Okay, so what I wanted to show you was not this even though this is a good bargain, okay? What I really want to show you is this. Okay, ladies? Feast your eyes on this. Am I in frame? Let me move this other one. Sorry about that. It's probably some noise. But we're learning, right? We're learning. Okay. Can you see that? Can you see this luscious ream of paper? And do you see what this logo says up here? Mm-hmm. That says Nina. Mm-hmm. Now, let me tell you a little story. Every year for Christmas, my husband says, what do you want in your stocking? Hmm. And you know what I ask? Honestly, every Christmas I say, oh, I want a ream of white card stock because I knew it's something I'm going to use and it's just something fun and he's at Sam's Club every week anyways. And so it doesn't fit under my stocking, but it's under the tree. And so this year, as I was putting things away, I saw this and I knew the wrapper was different than the Georgia Pacific. And I didn't really pay much mind. You know, they're always changing packaging. And then I saw Nina. I thought, uh, oh, yeah. And then I saw Nina.com. And I thought, hmm. And so I turned it over. And what does it say? Nina Paper Incorporated. I'm like, what? Nina Cardstock in bulk? at Sam's Club I'm astonished 275 sheets 110 pound weight smooth finish and I'm gonna show you that in just a minute and I'm like this is too good to be true so I said to my husband I said how much did you pay for this ream of paper he said well it was with all the other office supplies so it would be the same price and sure enough ladies $7.98 for 275 sheets of Nina White cardstock. Oh, yes. Sign me up. And so, of course, he had bought me two, and so I was over the moon because I'm like, this is really something. And so, if you've ever bought Nina cardstock online, you may be paying approximately $8 for 25 sheets. Okay? That's what the going rate has always seemed to have been. And so that would be, what, 32 cents a sheet. If you are buying it in bulk, 275 sheets, that's 3 cents a sheet. Now, mind you, 275 sheets, I can't stress that enough. 275 sheets is the same price of what we're paying online for 25 sheets. That's a difference of 250 sheets. I'm so excited. I think I almost stuttered. It was, It's just a, such a bargain. I, I'm just astonished. Now... If you have ever used Nina cardstock, you know what I'm going to say. But I I honestly would not pay $8 for 25 sheets of, of Nina cardstock. Because remember, I was already getting reams of white cardstock for the same price. And I was happy with it. 
and you can see, and I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but on the left, I have the Georgia Pacific paper, and on the right, I have the Nina cardstock. Now, there's nothing wrong with this Georgia Pacific, and I've used it for many, many years, and I've been very happy with it, 110 pound weight in bulk. They're already at Sam's Club anyway, so it just was a good product. But if you hold it up beside the Nina, I can see why card makers are seriously drawn to this Nina cardstock. Because on the left, this Georgia Pacific paper has a much more fibrous content. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but trust me, it is. And so on the Nina cardstock, it has a smooth, smooth finish. And of course, it says super smooth, smooth finish. Yes, it does have a smooth finish. So for card makers especially... If you're stamping and embossing, I can see why they sing the praises of Nina cardstock because it there is a difference. You may not be able to see that, but in real life, there is a difference. I'm sold. So some of you may be saying, well, I'm not a Sam's Club member. Hang on a minute. Hang on. I'm going to tell you something. You do not have to be a Sam's Club member to get in on this bargain. And I'm telling you, go get in on this bargain before it goes out of stock. Now, like I said, my husband bought this at Christmas. And it's still, I just was there today, it's still in stock, and it's still in stock online. It was out of stock for a while, but it's still there. So, if you are not a Sam's Club member, how do I go about getting this? Okay, first of all, if you have someone in your family or a relative or a friend, co-worker, anybody that has a Sam's Club membership, you are more than welcome to go into Sam's Club with them and use their card, and you can buy anything you want at Sam's Club, and it will not cost you anything extra. Sam's Club will allow you to do this. They they welcome that. You're more than welcome to do that. They have no problem with it. Now, is there a limit on how many times they let you do that? I've never seen that. So I don't think there's anybody with a clipboard seeing how many times someone does that. So you're more than welcome to do that. There's nothing wrong with that. The second option would be is to go into Sam's Club if you have one nearby and get a one-day pass. Now, that one-day pass will not cost you anything. But... When you go to purchase anything, and again, you can purchase anything in the store, they will charge you a 10% upcharge on whatever your purchases is. So if you buy $100 worth of stuff, that's an extra $10. On this ream of cardstock, it is $7.98. So they're going to charge you an extra $0.80. Cents. And ladies, let me tell you something. If you add that $0.80 cents into the $7.98, you're still only paying $0.03 cents a sheet for this cardstock. That is is a bargain and if you're there you might as well buy two or three anyways right why not it's in stock it's such a great bargain now the other option is and it would be my last option is you can go online and you don't have to have a membership to shop online but you do have to remember you're going to have that 10 percent extra charge and shipping now if you're a crafter and you've ever had to pay for shipping mm, pinch your toes you know it's expensive so shipping this ream or two or three of these would be quite heavy and i do not know if that would be cost effective that would be, have to be something you look into now with my membership i don't pay any shipping no matter what i buy so that would be a good option for me but that's with a membership okay so there are options that you can do and you do not have to be a sam's club member to do it i really urge you if you are a crafter card maker scrapbooker and especially if you're someone that you do craft shows, you need to go to your warehouse, whether it's Costco, Sam's Club, and I think there's a BJ's, I think, wherever. Even in Canada, if you have warehouse stores, you need to go in and see what you can find at bulk versus, because sometimes I know at craft shows, people will go to the Dollar Tree or, or places like that, and you're thinking, oh, you're only paying, you're getting three for a dollar. Well, if you're buying five or six of those, that's five or six dollars, you may go to a warehouse club and find that it's actually cheaper there. And I know for a while, I just was not in that realm of thinking. I thought, oh, dollar store, I'm paying a dollar, but if I'm buying six or seven, um, it may not be long term, you know, in the long run, it might not be cheaper. So definitely do not discredit looking at warehouse clubs for products that you're going to be buying in bulk. If you're doing crafts, scrapbooking, card making, doing craft shows, all that type of thing. Definitely give it give it a look, especially like if you're using something with a lot of clips, those small little legal pads, post-it notes, anything like that, the office supplies. They sell them in bulk and usually if you compare, it, it, it will at times be cheaper than going to the Dollar Tree. 
Okay, so that was probably a little bit of rambling, but ladies, I wanted to show you, not just ladies, ladies and men, I don't even want to exclude anybody. This is such a bargain. And yes, did I pick up another one? Absolutely. A $7.98, 275 sheets of Nina cardstock in bulk. Sign me up. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for helping me learn how to do all this and having patience with me. And come back again, honestly, because at RTS, you never know what we're going to learn. Take care. Bye.